creatures. Huh. Guess looking for the emitter will have to wait. Excuse me, good folks, but did I just hear that raccoon talk? Oh, why am I always singled out? Come and get your love. 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 Hi, my name is Phantom, and I apologize for that. I'm, I'm sorry, but like every time I see the Guardians of the Galaxy in any way or form, come on, who doesn't think of that song? Anyways, these are my thoughts on LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. First thing you'll notice in this game is that, yeah, there's a high quality LEGO graphical game here, but there's also a comic book style to this one that the first lacked. It feels like a LEGO comic book in the making. It's fun to look at, especially since the graphical detail is enough to see everything clearly. And the world is awesome looking. I mean, come on. A LEGO game usually can't look amazing? But this? This is nice! And customization in this game will have you awed. It's not every day you can not only make your own characters, but also look through such a humongous variety. I mean, geez, like, I know LEGO games usually have a lot of characters, but this one, like, really takes the cake. Like, massively, by a long shot. Next up is combat, which is kinda better. I mean, you can't expect much from LEGO games, but this felt like a step up to its predecessor, as it feels easier to kill basic enemies, and instead, to contrast that, bosses are hidden behind more puzzles, or any other, like, bomb explosive stuff than usual. And to be honest, it's just a better change of pace unlike the amount of annoying enemies that will appear. And it just doesn't feel much better. But what does feel much better is the side content, which is expertly crafted to make me think and go through some mediocre combat. It's simple, but it's a simple I can really enjoy, especially after years of LEGO playing. And one I've come to love, to be honest. There's also a story here that doesn't feel as good as any other LEGO game. Its own unique story just doesn't feel like there's an overall theme or lesson in any way. It's disappointing, but at least the voice cast might make it better, right? No. The cast is okay. Great. Okay, you guys keep searching. I'll go rescue the log. Agreed. We'll rendezvous back at the mansion. A lot of the actors just don't really fit their characters. I mean, it's it's a good job on some people, but most of the time it just feels like it wasn't really pulled off right, you know? What did do an amazing job was the music, and it just, <laughs> it just really made me feel like I was living my superhero fantasy. It resonates perfectly to any character you play. That is absolutely amazing that they could somehow pull that off. And then there's performance, which does have a couple of stutters and crashes, but besides that my frame stayed up and my image stayed clear. So, I say it was okay. If you're wondering, I do recommend this game. It's not better than the original, but it's a sequel worth playing. I give it a 7 out of 10. Took lots of tumbles, but still shines in the things LEGO games do great. If you want the game, I'll leave a link in the description section. Any questions or concerns will be answered in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like, and if you want more content like this, please subscribe. That's it from me, thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day. Also, keep doing great things. You're good at them.